nothing has made a change since my childhood days. Many of my friends have passed away. Some never more in this life I shall see. Time has made a change in me. Time has made a change in the old home place. Time has made a change in each smiling face. And I know my friends can plainly see. Time has made a change in me. When I was a child, I was well and strong. I could climb the hillsides all day long. I am not today what I used to be. Time has made a change in me. Time has made a change in the old home place. Time has made a change in each smiling face. And I know my friends can plainly see. Time has made a change in me. When I reached my home in that land somewhere Meet all my friends who are waiting there Free from pain and care we will always be Time has made a change in me Time has made a change in the old home place Time has made a change in each smiling face And I know my friends can plainly see Time has made a change in me Time has made a change 
in the old home place. Time has made a change in each smiling face. And I know my friends can plainly see. Time has made a change in me. Howdy folks and a great big welcome to each and every one of you. Well, that song that I just sang uh, was written by a gentleman whose name was Harkins Frey. F-R-E-Y-E -E, and he came from West Virginia. In 1939, John Lomax... Uh, recorded Helena Briggs and Alfred Hamilton singing that song. It's a pretty song. I like it. You may have noticed that uh, tonight I am modeling my Duck Dynasty line of evening wear. Good old Phil. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed the song. What I'd like to do now is uh, continue last week's topic on uh, government. And I'd like to uh, read from the Bible. So for those of you folks who are not interested in and do not want to hear a Bible reading, now's the time for you to end the video. I'll say adios and see you next time. For those of you who are hanging on, First, I'd like to say thanks to uh, Sean Bittinger from uh, West Virginia and uh, another Sean, Sean Klein. I don't know where he's from, but they both uh, made comments uh, and uh, gave Bible quotations from Proverbs about what a good government is like. I started digging in uh, the Old Testament way back in uh, the book of Samuel. Samuel was a prophet. I'm reading from uh, 1 Samuel chapter 8. When Samuel grew old, he appointed his sons as judges for Israel. The name of his firstborn was Joel, and the name of his second was Abijah, and they served at Beersheba. But his sons did not walk in his ways. They turned aside after dishonest gain and accepted bribes and perverted justice. Just like we see going on today. So all the elders of Israel gathered together and they came to Samuel at Ramah. Ramah. They said to him, you are old and your sons do not walk in your ways. Now appoint a king to lead us, such as all the other nations have. But when they said, Give us a king to lead us, this displeased Samuel. So he prayed to the Lord. And the Lord told him, Listen to all that the people are saying to you. It is not you they have rejected, but they have rejected me as their king. As they have done from the day I brought them up out of Egypt until this day, forsaking me and serving other gods, so they are doing to you. Now listen to them, but warn them solemnly, and let them know what the king who will reign over them will do. Samuel told all the words of the Lord to the people who were asking him for a king. He said, This is what the king who will reign over you will do. He will take your sons and make them serve with his chariots and horses, and they will run in front of his chariots. Some he will assign to be commanders, others to plow his ground and reap his harvest, and still others to make weapons of war and equipment for his chariots. He will take your daughters to be perfumers and cooks and bakers. He will take the best of your fields and vineyards and olive groves and give them to his attendants. He will take a tenth of your grain and of your vintage and give it to to his officials and attendants. 
your men servants and maid servants and the best of your cattle and donkeys he will take for his own use. He will take a tenth of your flocks and you yourselves will be his slaves. When the day comes out you will cry for relief from the king you have chosen and the Lord will not answer you in that day. But the people refused to listen to Samuel. No, they said, we want a king over us. Then we will be like all the other nations with a king to lead us. So the nations around them were not uh, followers of God. And uh, the, these Israelites still wanted a king just like the godless nations had. Uh, so Samuel told them what a tyrannical king will do. He will just help them himself and become rich off of them and uh, not rule them with uh, any humility or compassion. So that's where the problem started. So up until now, God had been not only the creator, but also the king of his chosen people, the Israelites. And now they said, no. We want a human king. That's where the problem started and it's kind of degenerated over time to what we are stuck with today. Basically the same thing, tyrannical rulers who uh, do not care about what the people want, but they're full of corruption and all they want to do is uh, grab the power and grab the money. So, sad state of affairs, but it's been going on for a long time. Um, next week I'll uh, dig around some more in the Old Testament and see what I can come up with for what happened with governments. Anyway, hope you uh, enjoyed the song. Hope you enjoyed the readings. If you have any uh, comments to make, or please leave them in the down below in the comment section. Now I'll, I'll say uh, God bless and we'll see you down the road.